Well, welcome back, my fantastic friends. We've got a canvas on the wall mounted easel here in Master Temple Studio, and we're going to paint a nice autumnal scene if all goes to well. So, what we're going to do is take some Indian yellow on a one inch paintbrush, just tap that in there, and we're going to start, you know, just above just above centre and slightly to the right. And I'm just going to Swoosh in some of this gorgeous yellow colour. Just like that. And down here, we'll wipe it off. Okay, so with hardly any paint on the brush, I'm going to take a mixture of in, uh, sorry, a Liz and Crimson and Sap Green. Mixed together in about equal proportions, and that makes a gorgeous brown. Look at that brown lovely brown tones to this and of course this will mix with the, the liquid white that, that's up here and, and create a lovely pale browny sky we'll take it down to that yellow that yellow central point just keep coming back and loading some more paint just like that, all the way across. Okay, now I want to darken the corners a touch, so I'm just going to go straight into some midnight black. I aren't cleaning the brush just yet, I'm just darken these corners off. Just darken them off, just like that. Right, set that brush down, pick up a big, dry, clean, dry one, and I'm just going to touch a tiny touch of white paint and it's gonna put that white paint in there I'll brighten it up somewhat and then just work out just blending out just swirl it out and then start to swoosh in all the way up to the top and when you get to the top don't start again, don't come down into the into this colour or she'll end up bringing all this black down into the, the yellow and yellow and black make a, a nice nice green colour and that's not what we're, we're after. Down here we'll pull in some, some of that excess colour that's on this paintbrush. Now I'm going to wash the paintbrush so give me just scrub it against that shake off the excess and <laughs> really beat the brush up okay now again a little bit more white paint start again in the center and swirl around swirl out and then just gently take it out Lightly go across the old thing. All right, up, 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 up. Right, I'm gonna put a couple of little tiny clouds in there. So I'll just pop that brush to one side. And I'll take a fan brush. I'm gonna use a touch of black, maybe a bit of the burnt umber. Black and burnt umber. I'm just gonna swirl in. Some clouds. Just anywhere where they want to be. That's a that cloud just kept growing on us. <laughs> okay, just a bit more over there. Alright, set that brush down. I'm gonna pick up another fan brush and I'm gonna take just a tiny bit of white. Tiny bit of white. I'm just going to put some on the underside of this and let the two colours meet. Reload the brush, a bit more white. Yeah, just like so. Like that. Bring it down. There. 
Now, I haven't washed those fan brushes, I've got two. I haven't washed them. And now I'm going to take the little tiny pony head brush which we've got and I'm going to just really soften these two, two sides, the shadow side and the highlight side together. Just really soften them up. Just like that. That will give us a nice cloudy effect. And then gently up, tease it up, fluff it up. Like that. And there, we've got a big mean cloud. Right, I'm going to wash that one because we'll use it again in a second. I don't have two of them, which is unfortunate. And it's not, it's not as fun to clean that one. Okay, so back to the browns. The paintbrush with the browns on. So black and burnt umber. We can come back down here and put another cloud. I just live somewhere there, like that. There. Like so. Okay, and a bit more on this side. Feather that out just there. Back to the lighter colours. So this is just titanium white now, and they're just filling, filling the underside of these these clouds. Just swirl it in. You can even grab a tiny touch of crimson and give it a nice little pinkish glow. Some more on this side. Like that. Right, let's get the pony air brush back out. Make sure it's dry. And then just swirl them both together where the two colours meet. The whites and the browns. Across we go like that. And on this side, same again. Happy days, eh? Happy days, happy days. Right, I'm gonna take a big brush, big brush, and I'm just gonna lift all this up, and then gently across. Lift up, fluff up. Don't lift straight up, or it look like it's raining upwards. We just wanna just gently tease, tease those clouds up. Yeah, like so, and then across like that that right well we've got that brush on the go we're gonna hit some of this dark color we made and we're gonna have some trees in the background so just tap just tap downwards so you can see it's ready Color, I've taken it from the red side. If, if you're mixing these two colors together, the sap green and the crimson, you can take it to the green side or the red side. I've left it in the red side. I want this to be a nice warm autumnal painting. And then just tap down, put in indications of some far away tree, tree shapes. Okay, just like that. Right, set that brush down, don't want it anymore. And again, let's get a dry brush and then just hit the base of this. And I'm really hitting hard. It's the way it pays dividends to have a really strong easel. So you can hit really hard. Sounds like a drum, doesn't it? And then just blend that out. Okay, there like so. Right, I'm going to get the script liner brush wherever I put you. Script liner brush, plenty of paint thinner into the black paint. And then here and there, there and here, we're going to have some, some trunks, not many. Some may break in between the uh, 
in between the trees where there's been a dead tree or, or it's, it's given up and all his, all his leaves have already been lost. Yeah, just like that. A few more on this side. Now it's, I'd start from the base of the tree and work my way up, but if you want to start at the top of the tree and work your way down, that's, that's absolutely fine. It's your way, your method. Yeah, like so. Wash the brush and dry on a paper towel. Right. Let's take, let's take, let's get rid of that one. Let's take, let's get clear some space. The rounded brush. And I'm just going to hit yellow. Cad yellow. And this is the half rounded brush, the oval brush. And every now and again, just going to put a touch of yellow on some of these trees. Not much. Don't want to. Don't want to overdo it just yet. These are in the background, so we don't want much. I'm going to change the flavour. Get cad yellow, Indian yellow, and yellow ochre there, there. there just like so like that stretch that down there change the flavor again pick up a bit of that brown see that's a bit darker <laughs> like that one Gorgeous colours, gorgeous reds, gorgeous. Let's fetch that down there. And even take a touch of the bright red. Look at that, it's on fire. It's on fire. Go back to the browns. Stay, stay in with a dirty brush, we don't, we're not good at that. Fussed at this point, yellows. Red and yellow obviously make a nice, a nice orange colour. Yeah, right, so leave that there for now. And I'm gonna take a dry brush, if I can find one. Just knock him off. I'm just gonna tap the base of these. pick up a bit too much colour, just beat it, and then the paint will go away, leave you with a dry brush, stage you going through the whole cleaning process. Like so, down there, like that. Right, I think we're going to have a bit of water in here, so where those colours are, let me get that dirty brush with the colours on, pull straight down. Put a bit more red on that, a bit more red there, look at that. Get some browns. Straight down like so, maybe a touch of yellow. Not that much. <laughs> there. Right, set that brush down. Pull straight down with a clean dryer brush. Straight down. All the way along. All the way along and then lightly across. There. That will give us some indication of some of some reflections in the water. Okay. Let's fetch, let's fetch this brush back in action. Take that down there like so. So I'm just varying the tones. Like that, again, straight down. Straight down, dry brush, straight down. And then gently across, there we've got some more reflections. 
okay i'm just going to take the palette knife tiny touch of liquid white on the paint brush a uh, paint knife i'm just going to sneak in a little water line i don't want much i just want to separate i just want to separate the land and the water and it's like it's like the uh, it's mist and fog comes straight off, straight off the water. Okay, just like that. Same on this one as well, I think. I think we'll have that there. Okay, wipe right, the knife. Let's have a little bit of a look what we need to do now. Right, so I'm just gonna take some of that dark colour and put that in there like so pull straight down again there again with a brush this will give you lots of practice making reflections of course anything that we don't need we can just paint straight over back to the palette knife Put in a nice little tiny water line just there. Maybe even sneak one. Just move that up here. Sneaky, sneaky. Yes, look at that. Like so. Right, now. Now this looks like it's just floating here, so let's take some of that brown colour again. And just put in another little peninsula just there. Easily done, easily done. Just a little peninsula just there. Just pull it straight down some of that colour, right over the bright red. Hold the brush, grab, pull, grab, pull, grab and pull, and then lightly across. Like that. Back to the palette knife where I've ever thrown you, there you are. And then cut in another waterline, so we'll cut you in there. And if you get one that's too bright, like that one is, all you need to do is just rub it and it'll go away. Or you could just scrape it out and uh, and repaint the reflections. That easy. That easy. All right. Let's uh, let's get let's get mental now. Let's go for it. Okay. So some of this dark brown colour straight down here. Straight down there, like so, and all the way across. I think. I think we'll have it there. All the way down. You know what? That's too slow. Where's his where's his brush that had the colour on before? That'll do. That'll do. So the one inch brush. I could just paint this in. Just paint it. But tapping gives you a bit more practice. A bit more paint on this side. A nice little valley there. There we go. Set you down. Okay, back to the fan brush, and then we can now come back and add some, some more bits and pieces, some bushes, grasses, foliage, whatever. If you turn the brush that way, you can make all sorts of little plants and, and other bits and pieces. Call them bits and pieces, they're not bits and pieces, are they? Ferns, that's the word, ferns. This way. There. That looks like a natural place for a little bit of a path. Just there, maybe we'll have a path. Maybe we'll have a path just there. Okay, 
before we get to the path point, put some more of these in. I think we'll have some trees. So we've got some trees there, so same brush. And then what we'll do is we'll just pull this straight down like so. Maybe darken one side of it off a little touch. So just depending where your light is, I think it's there. We'll have it on the shadow on this side. So we've got his eye light and a shadow. And just feather them together like that. Alright, let's add another one on this side. Fact, shall we get? Yeah, let's do it. Big tree there big tree it's gone off the canvas let's make him thick let's make him thick and strong big and strong big and strong yeah plenty of paint and let's do another one why not why not it's going well, isn't it? It's going well. It's got a crook in it. That tree's got a crook in it. Should send him to Westminster. Right, there. Like so. There we go. Not bad, not bad. Just get rid of the paint down there. Like that. Right, let's take script liner brush paint thinner lots of paint thinner lots of paint thinner that ground paint okay let's start putting some limbs on these on these big trees start off with this one and just twist the brush as you go like that get more paint thinner get the other one get the other one bit more paint thinner, make it nice and thin. I don't know if you can see that there, but it's really like ink. You want it like ink, so it flows. We'll put a few leaves on these ones as well. That's it. Couple here and there. Some more on this one. These look too thin. Let's get a thicker stick. Let's make a thicker stick. There. Just like that. There we go. We've got a thicker stick. Okay. Now we can add some arms to that. Now you've got to decide painting a painting have these trees fallen up as no leaves left on them or have they got leaves or are they still holding on because we've got some in the background here I think I think it's about time we, do, we put some leaves on these up here a couple of sticks down here as well all sorts of brambles and blackberry bushes and all sorts living down here, I suppose. There we go. Right, let's the brush off. Dry the brush on a paper towel. Now then, let's take, let's take, where's my fan brush? Let's take a fan brush, right, some of that dark paint. And I'm just going to tap. You can do this with a one inch brush or two inch. Today I'm going for a fan brush. Just like that. Just tap it. This is still that same brownie colour. Just tap in a few brushes. Some leaves just out here. Decide how big the tree's going to be as well. A bit of black to that one. There, there we go. 
go. Looks lovely. Lovely effects as a fan brush. Quite underrated when it comes to normal foliage. Over on this one, curve it round. So like these ferns here, this foliage will lead your eye into the middle as well. Darken that off somewhat with a bit of black paint there. Plenty of paint. Oh no, I'm painting the easel. <laughs> there, like so. Right. I like colour, so I'm just going to wipe the excess paint off the paintbrush and then go straight into the yellows. I might grab a tiny touch of liquid white as well. That will thin the paint and it will also that will thin the paint and it will also brighten it somewhat. So we've got, let me add a bit of red, I want a bit of red in that. There we go, there we go. Lovely peachy colour. Then decide where your light source is, as we said it's just there. So on the light side, I'm just going to put a few indications of some of this peachy colour. Just there, like that. Okay, I'm gonna grab a bit of crimson, a bit more crimson in this one. Just wanna change the flavor on this tree, just so it stands out somewhat. There, like that. That's a lovely color. That is a gorgeous, gorgeous color. Right, let's go into the other one on the other side. Just vary the colours, vary the colours. And of course, the more you tap, the more it'll pick that dark under colour up. Which is okay. That's what we want. That's what we're looking for. There we go. Right, let's work on some grasses. Okay, so we're still mixing that same colour, crimsons, a bit of liquid white, cadmium yellow, and we'll just come down here. You know what, let's put a path in, let's put a path in. Okay, uh, palette knife, palette knife, burnt umber, touch of titanium white, just loosely mix, just loosely mix that and then just gently, just like you would do on a mountain, just, just put in a nice little bit of a dirt path. Just like that. Maybe add a bit of dark in there as well. There. That's your nice little path. Heading towards the water's edge. Maybe this is a nice place to go fishing. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. Right. That's that'll do us. That'll do us for a little path. Right the knife. Okay, let's grab some more of this colour paint down here we go. And we'll just put some grasses in. All the way down here. In fact, I'm going to grab a bit of sap green into that as well. There. Just down there like that. Highlight some of these little ferns. I'll tell you what, I'm just going to wipe the excess off the fan brush. Get a bit of green. Start green on this side. Plus there'll be greens in, in autumn as well. Don't want many, just a few up there. Just a few, just some light indications. Maybe a couple in there. Okay, okay, we're getting there, we're getting there. 
Straight crimson, straight crimson. have it there we're gonna have it like that path then and we're nearly done we're nearly done i'm just gonna add a few more sticks and twigs onto the tree i think just there like that a bit of paint to help with the painting a bit more paint in it a bit more paint in it there we go This branch has lost its its leaves. A couple more down here as well. Change the direction of the change the direction of the branches right I'm gonna put a little stone in I think so for that I'm gonna just take a bit of titanium white liquid white mix a light brown color really thin I'm gonna take one side of the brush through black paint and then just put some stones in like that maybe a stone or two there I like that so you can see it on the brush we'll just put in a few highlights I'm going to take some dark colour just darken off this side a little bit there get rid of the paintbrush get rid of the the underside of these stones let's just tap just like that I think we're about ready for the signature so how did you find this one, my fantastic friends? Did you enjoy it? It's a nice autumnal scene. It's very simple to do. Give it a go. I'd like to see if you do actually give it a go. It would be nice. It would be nice. Even if you just draw it in pyro. <laughs> but there we go. So I'll just sign this one just there. Like so. Right, until next time, my fantastic friends. Take care of the scent. Stay safe. Happy days.